of how I draw my OC Alice. Okay, so how was this character made? In my previous video, I received a few comments asking how I color Alice's hair. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. In my last video, someone asked in the comments, how did you manage to have a blue and purple gradient on the background? Oh, like these? Here's my answer. Hey, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to show how I draw my OC Alice. You wanna find out? Before we start, who is Alice? Alice is my adopted OC. Her full name is Alice Lovelace, and she's a 17-year-old teenage cat girl, and she is best friends with my other OC, Cyan. She has an incredible talent for making gadgets, and she's quite the sound switch. She's nice and honest, but sometimes she can be sensitive or lose her temper. She may look cute and adorable, but you wouldn't like her when she's angry. Anyway, she first appeared in my YouTube short animation called Cyan and Alice Roses for Valentine's. Happy Valentine's hey, Day! Hey, what'd you get me? Oh, you didn't get the roses? Oh, let me send it again. And she appeared again in testing lip gloss be like. It's my lip gloss. Cool! Does it taste like it smells? You wanna find out? If you haven't watched these animations yet, go watch them. You can check the links in the description below or simply click on the info cards above. Okay, so how was this character made? First of all, the character was originally created by my friend named Lance. In October 2019, I adopted the character for free and she willingly passed the ownership to me. Before I adopted her, her name wasn't Alice. Her name was Academia Rose and she used to be a Sonic OC, so she was a hedgehog before becoming a cat. She's not related to Amy Rose from Sonic by the way. She used to wear a blue jacket, similar colors to Alice's hoodie, and she doesn't wear any clothing underneath. Kinda reminds me of Sally Acorn from Archie Sonic Comics or Sonic ZM. In 2020, I started to redesign Academia by giving her shirt, and her species was changed from a hedgehog to a cat, and she's no longer a Sonic OC. Her first redesign looked like this, but I wasn't too proud of the hair texture, and shortly after, I changed her name to Alice Lovelace. Then in 2021, I redesigned Alice again, but it was similar to the current design of Alice. The difference between this one and the previous design is that I used peach color palettes for Alice's fur and hair, hit the bangs, and added a gradient to her hair. Now where did this hair gradient screen tone come from? After creating that design, I drew a wallpaper of Alice in the art style of Into the Spider-Verse for my phone. After drawing the wallpaper, I became more interested in the screen tone gradient on her hair rather than the previous design. And that's how Alice was made. I still give her slight redesigns though, like replacing her glasses with cartoony glasses to look more geeky and adorable. Now let's draw Alice. Step 1. Draw a sketch. the sketch is finished. Let's move on to step 2. Draw the outline.
Now let's color Alice. Before we start coloring, let's create a new layer below the outline layer. I'll import Alice's color palette and place it next to Alice. Then I'll move the color palette layer below the color layer. Next, we'll color Alice's hair. In my previous video, I received a few comments asking how I color Alice's hair. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. First, create a new layer above the fourth layer to color her hair. Fill the hair with peach color first. Add another layer. Press clipping, open blending mode, then switch to screen tone and select dot L16. After that, we will add a gradient to her hair using black color with an airbrush. We can't use other colors because it will create dots underneath her hair. It'll look something like this. So how do we turn black to any color? First, open the layer, press 3 dots below the trash icon, and press rasterize. Once rasterized, open FX or filter, press change to right color, then select the strawberry color, and there you go. That's how I color her hair. Let's move on to the body. Fill the hoodie with dark blue, color the shorts with red, fill both legs with lighter peach, then add peach on both legs in the corners. Don't forget to color the tail. Oh, I almost forgot to color the left arm. Let me finish it. Color the drawstrings with light blue and do the same thing to pop sleeves. Next, color the socks with white. Fill the shoes with dark blue, light blue, and white. And lastly, add strips to the tail with strawberry color. Oh, and finally, add her whiskers. Sometimes I forget to add whiskers on my cat OCs. And we finished coloring Alice. Next, I will add shading and lighting, so enjoy watching while listening to non copyrighted music in the background.
shading and lighting are now finished oh by the way in my last video someone asked in the comments how did you manage to have blue and purple gradient on the background oh like these is my answer add a new layer below the alias folder make sure to hide the folder before making the background Fill the canvas with a magenta color, then select the black color and add another layer above the magenta layer. Open blending mode, switch to screen tone, and select dot L16 just like before. After that, we'll use the circle ruler and symmetry ruler to draw a circle gradient in the middle. Draw a small circle in the center. Press Rasterize and enlarge the circle. After that, open FX and change the color in change drawing color. I will change it to cyan. And that's how I create the background. The rest, I will add some details to the background. It's finished and that's how I draw Alice. If you find this tutorial helpful, feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.